Hi there, and welcome to She Spice. While cash has forever been an issue in the business, apparently Terrence Howard has arrived at a limit, communicating complaints about his encounters inside the business. He has proposed that something treacherous has happened in his vocation. Now, supposedly, Robert Downey Jr. has entered the discussion, revealing insight into the conditions encompassing Howard's way of behaving and offering understanding of his own viewpoint. Nothing is better than shooting scenes in V, Switzerland in old AG while you were blasting Terrence. Howard is without a doubt, a natural for both film and television audiences, with a broad rundown of screen credits archived on NB. Howard's vocation got a critical lift when he handled the job of Jackie Jackson in the 1992 made-for-television film The Jacksons, An American Dream, portraying the narrative of the Jackson 5. Following this breakout execution, he was featured by Martin Lawrence in the 2000 movie Enormous Mom's Home, which further raised his profile in the business. Howard's ability prompted striking tasks, remembering his job for the troupe dramatization crash, which won the Best Picture Oscar at the 2006 Foundation Grants, and the Oscar goes to crash before Long Howard got the lead job in the rap drama hustle and streamed an exhibition that procured him an Institute Grant designation for Best Entertainer. His assorted portfolio additionally included prominent undertakings, for example, Iron Man and Disney's The Princess and the Frog. The lead job in the Briefside Project, the role of Law LA, and a huge part in Chief Lee Daniels the Steward, when Daniels was gathering the cast for his TV series Domain Howard, was tapped for the featuring job of rapper and big shot. Lucius Lyon, the show ended up being a resonating achievement, running from 2015 until 2020. I love how you managed to open up a track for me anyway, closed by his on-screen wins. Howard is the only entertainer who finds it difficult to work with Terrence. Howard has gained notoriety for trying to work with a name that some have credited to his enthusiastic nature, as per an anonymous TV leader referred to in the New York Post. Howard is known for rushing to outrage and for his firm disposition when things don't turn out well for him. When you said, after you complete these 15 episodes of Domain, you move to leave for some time, or everlastingly for good. I'm, I'm, I mean, everybody continues to attempt to tell me, don't say it's eternity anyway. Howard himself sees his conduct contrastingly pondering an early involvement with his vocation. He described to the New York Times an occurrence on the arrangement of the Cosby show at only 19 years of age. He handled a minor job on the hit sitcom. Just a later find he had been cut from the episode enraged by this Howard stood up to Bill Cosby straightforwardly demanding his poise. As an individual man, this conflict brought about ramifications for Howard's vocation as the projecting specialist refused to work with him again. I had a chance to proceed to be on The Cosby Show, and I strolled around it and watched Bill Cosby for Howard. This occurrence laid out an example for his expert life. He made sense of that he will defend what he puts stock in regardless of whether it implies confronting repercussions. Terrence Howard landed what could be viewed as his vocation, characterizing job, when he was given a role as Jim Rowe, otherwise called in the 2008 blockbuster movie Iron Man, eminently Howard was the primary entertainer chosen for the job and directed the most significant compensation, allegedly acquiring $3, 5 million with the potential for an extra $5 million on the off chance that a spin-off emerged. He even purportedly proposed to decrease his own compensation by $1 million to work with the projecting of Robert Downey Jr., whose well-plugged battles with substance misuse made the studio reluctant to enlist him. It just so happens that the individual that I became Iron Man, when it was the ideal opportunity to do re-up for the subsequent one, took the cash that should go to me anyway when Iron Man 2 was greenlit. Howard guaranteed he got the news that his job would be lessened alongside the guaranteed compensation. Purportedly, his representative, Turley, excused the studio's choice with an exclamation. Loaded reaction prior to removing correspondence, thusly, where Cheadle expected the job of Roy. Are you Tony? Smelled. Yes, this will be what Tony smelled. Howard uncovered feelings censored by Downey, stating that his endeavors to connect were met with quietness until he left a message, stressing the help he had stretched out in the past as per Howard Downey never answered, leaving him feeling insulted, especially thinking about what he saw as the monetary benefit Downey delighted in without regard to him. Howard recommended that Downey benefit from as much as $100 million in a roundabout way, referring to Downey's significant profit from ensuing wonder films and back in bargains. Baron Howard and Robert Downey Jr. haven't had the best relationship over the most recent 10 years, and presently, he's faulting him for losing $100 million in 2008.
The arrival of Iron Man denoted the start of the best establishment in Hollywood history, catapulting Robert Downey Jr. into the position of elite superfame. Essentially, every individual related to the movie, including Kevin F., John Favreau Gwyneth Pro, and Paul Bettany, have since turned into a basic piece of the wonder realistic universe anyway. One entertainer withdrew the hero flick, feeling profoundly lamented by Wonder Studios. Terrence Howard, at first cast as Colonel James Roy, Tony Distinct's right-hand man in the Wonder True-to-Life universe, appeared to be an optimal fit for the job anyway, in spite of his promising beginning. Howard's excursion with the establishment went off in a strange direction, prompting his takeoff. Before Iron Man 2 started recording, we had a three-picture bargain. You know, before we did the first, everything was at that point set out, and things were planned to happen with that. They decided not to respect that bargain. The choice to head out in different directions from Howard originated from various elements, including clashes for set and quarrelsome monetary dealings, regardless of his depiction of Roe being generally welcomed in the background pressures and conflicts with the studio, eventually prompted his exit from the establishment while Howard's takeoff kept him from showing up in resulting wonder films like Justice Fighters. Boundlessness and the conditions encompassing his leave highlight the complicated elements at play inside media outlets since they needed to head down the path of having Robert stay as the lead on the grounds that they expected to assume control throughout the second one graciously. Thus they gave me a proposition I couldn't refute. Terrence Howard's cooperation with Wonder Studios reflected the uncomfortable collusion of Tony Unmistakable and Steve Rogers. While their organization might have shown a guarantee at first, it was laden with disagreement at last, prompting struggle. Howard standing for being hard to work with went before him, creating a shaded area over his residency with Wonder, known for his erasable disposition. Howard transparently confessed to the difficulties of teaming up with him. This attitude imbued in him, since his initial acting days frequently hindered his vocation during his job as the best man. Howard's emphasis on conveying lines and his favorite serious tone conflicted with the creation's vision for the scene. I don't care a lot about the things you all say. There's nothing normal about monogamy. These episodes highlighted Howard's penchant for contact in cooperative settings, making way for his turbulent relationship with Wonder Studios, as per reports from the New York Post and Industry Insiders. Terrence Howard's standing as a need that might arise for command over each part of his work has been legitimate. These qualities, combined with a background marked by allegations, made it difficult for any cooperative exertion. Wonder Studios is known for its own self-assurance and periodic conflicts with ability over imaginative contrasts has seen its reasonable part in high-profile flights, including Edward Norton. Edgar Wright and Patty Jenkins. As is clear, I became more stressed over it. Ah, you know I was. I was extremely intrigued in light of the fact that I cherished it. I dislike bombastic about it during the 2000s. Terrence Howard's star was on the ascent, supported by asserted exhibitions in films like Hustle, Stream, and Crash. Wonder perceived his ability and offered him a significant check, apparently somewhere in the range of $3.50 and $4. 5 million to depict Colonel James Rody Rods in Iron Man outperforming even Robert Downey Jr., underlying income. Howard became not just the main entertainer who finished paperwork for the movie, yet additionally the most generously compensated star in the whole presentation. I got the feeling that this film would have been truly groundbreaking. No look at this. I made $112,000 for doing Hustle and Stream. At first, Howard's joint effort with Wonder seemed promising with the studio in any event, promising him an extra $5 million in the event that Iron Man 2 pushed ahead anyway in spite of the continuation's affirmation. Howard never had the opportunity to repeat his job, as the purposes for this unexpected takeoff include a mind-boggling exchange of individual and expert elements at last, bringing about Howard's exit from the establishment. The finish of Iron Man holds quite possibly the most strong second in the wonder, true-to-life universe as Terrence Howard's personality, considering unfolding the suit expresses the mixed, words next time child anyway. This next time never emerged for Howard reports from the arrangement of Iron Man. Proposed that. Subscribe She Spice for more videos.